we got to chat about your car Ugh. getting stolen. Yeah, I pulled a dude, where's my car moment on Saturday. Okay, break it down. Because, Jeff, I saw your Instagram post. And it's like, you woke up. And from what I saw, where your car was supposed to be, it wasn't there. Explain. Yeah, that's a weird feeling. You know, you, you, you come downstairs. I, I spent the night at a friend's house. I took, I literally took my car off of the street and parked it in the driveway for extra security. Oh, okay. So you moved your car. I physically moved it because in the back of my mind, I was like, I don't want anything weird to happen. This is a good area, but I know a lot of stuff happens. It's almost like a target area. Sure. And so I moved it in the driveway and only to wake up to it not there. Okay. First off, was there anything in the car? I made sure that there was nothing visible in the car, but I did have some comic books I purchased earlier. Okay, we got to get into those comics. I want to know, before we find out what happened to the car, what comics were stolen and how and they were left in the car? Yeah, so this wasn't like a target of any kind. It was just a random thing. You okay. could tell through the security cameras, it was so random. And the comics were mostly Bronze Age, some light silver. I just literally bought that morning. Uh, let's go through the list. What did you have in the car? Okay, I had a Daredevil 105. Okay. 111, which is first Silver Samurai. 168, first Electra. Okay, I had a Strange Tales 169, first Brother Voodoo. 180, first Gamora. Marvel Spotlight 2, first oh, World by Night. No. Not the, uh, not the graded one that you showed. No, no, show. not this the graded one. Just a raw one. Okay. Uh, and, um, were these a, all raw? Yeah, they were all raw. Okay. JoJo Comics 17 Golden Age book. Cool book. I okay. got that for such a screaming deal. I was so excited about that book. Uh, I'm trying to think what else there was. Oh, a Spider Man 194. Oh, bummer. Yeah, and another one or two uh, books in there. So it was like just a handful of books. Where did you have them stored? So my car um, has a bench seat in the middle. Okay. Okay. So it's a big silver suburban. It's got three rows of seating, and in the middle of that is a seat that flips up. Okay. So it's almost a hidden compartment, and then the armrest then comes down on top of that. So it's like double covered. And I know through the surveillance cameras, they did not see that initially. Okay. You so see what them happened? Digging through stuff. So okay. So these people started going through your car. They got into yeah. your car. How did yeah. they get into your car? Ugh. Okay. So my key fob's broken. Okay. And apparently, when I try to lock it. I, it just didn't register. I mean, it's not like broken, broken, but it was there was like a, a crack on the back, so I think it just didn't register. So the car was unlocked. Super dumb, considering that I literally moved it off the street. And maybe it wasn't unlocked. I don't know, but from the surveillance cameras, it seemed unlocked. It just, it was one of those things where they got in the car, they, and I see them rifling through it. I can see on security cameras, rifling through my car, which oh, is weird. Yeah, the dome lights this. on, yeah, the dome oh lights on, goodness. so you see them in there. And they're going through all kinds of stuff. They don't go through the seat. Okay, they don't. Okay. I know I don't I don't see them going underneath that seat to get it. They're getting stuff out of the glove box and in the front armrest and then they leave. All right? And so then they, they come they back. They jack the car. They later. actually get the car going and they yeah. drive off. Minutes later they come come back. They rip out the OnStar system. First thing they do, you can see them reach under and like rip out this thing and then cut some wires and then Professionals. take the car. Yeah. Oh, okay, they're serious about this. Yeah, they're they're, serious. they're getting this car. They know what to do. And they almost pulled forward. You saw the car move forward, which almost hit the car in front of it. Oh, they almost hit the car, and yeah. they, they were they, end up able yeah. to leave the driveway. And back out. Oh, my gosh. And okay. took off. And then, uh, so the car was like, obviously, it's gone. So now I'm just like, when am I going to see this thing again? So you woke up the next day. Your car's not there. Did you double take thinking, oh, I must wait a minute. Oh, I laughed. I you was laughed? like, this is stupid. Like, I know it was there. I was like, I, I could do nothing but laugh. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> the car's gone. Literally, That's the so car's crazy gone. crazy to think about. I, I, it's I'm just like, like, what am I going to do here? I was like, all I could do is call. There was nothing really in the car. I had nowhere to be, okay? So it was like I wasn't stressing out because there was nothing really, other than the car being gone, which is whatever it is, there was nothing personal in there that I felt like I had to cancel wallets or I had to deal with checkbooks or I had to deal with you know, keys or some nonsense of just stuff. Just the comics. Yeah, there was, yeah, just a few comics I just bought that wasn't like that big of a deal. But disappointing nonetheless. Yeah, disappointing nonetheless because it just, you know, comics gone, that just hurts. So aside from the, like, the confusion of like not knowing what's going on with your car, just waiting a couple days, you find it. Yeah, I get a phone call. We have your car. It's at a, to it's at a what do you call it? Those, uh, toy yard? Yeah, toy yard. And uh, I go to the toy. You gotta go pick it up. And so I go over there and pick it up. And this is like I get there, and it's like the graveyard for cars. And I don't know what to expect. They didn't tell me anything. It's like your car is there. You might, if you want, you want to go pick it up, 
it's drivable. That's all they told me. So you didn't even know what yeah. you're like, what to expect. You there may be comics in there. Your your car may be completely gutted. Yeah. What's going on? What did you find? So I get there and I navigate through like this graveyard of vehicles, and there's my car, and I'm coming up to it, and it looks good. I was like, sweet, this car looks fine. Okay. And then I open up the door because I don't know what I'm gonna expect, and the car is spotless, like completely scrubbed down. Smells completely like it's been sanitized. All right. They left the, the cleaner. They kept the rag in there. The car is shiny. Was everything in the car, like as far as the car itself, the radio, the lights, like the things that you could potentially lift? Like the radio was in there. They took my amp, which was broken. Okay. All right. They took a broken amp, which I wasn't even using. They went through the panels, like nothing like they ripped them out. They just unlocked whatever panels were on the side of the interior of the car. They took apart some, uh, they had this Halloween like uh, owl. And they ripped the head off, like, looking for, like, there's something hidden in there. So, anyways, they did a good thorough search, but then they scrubbed it down. And it's the cleanest I've seen that car in, like, three years now. Okay. So, they, like, took apart stuff and cleaned it? The car. Yeah. Every seat, every dashboard panel, every oh, door. Oh, how weird. So, the only reason why I can think someone would steal a car and then be super obsessed with cleaning every inch of it is if they were maybe transporting something. Yeah, I don't want. I mean, get too. Oh my goodness! Our right, comic fam, I want to know your thoughts. What are like? What do you think these people did to the guru's car when they took it for a joyride for a couple of days? But so far, so good, right? There's nothing weird about the car. It's running. Everything's there. It's nicer than when you got it. It sounds like. Yeah, they pulled a couple of wires, so messed up with some things. But I took it to the dealership. They worked on it for like a couple hours. They got it's working just fine. They just had to reconnect some wires again. Oh my gosh! And so I'm picking it up tomorrow. What a weird thing, man. Yeah. Well, I saw you put out some posts to the community. Hey, keep an eye out for these comic books. If they hit the store, if you're a retailer and some people bring in some books, keep an eye out because they may be Jeff's and you're in the Washington area. Yeah, they were all about. Actually, there were some nice ones, man. Some nice ones and mid grade ones. The JoJo was a low grade, but. Turns up great. I put out feelers everywhere. I called all the shops in my area and just so we'll see if it shows up great. But nice to just have the car back. You know, it's a good work truck for me. It's not like there's a ton of value in that car. It's just convenient for me to use. Absolutely. And, you know, it's it's never a good feeling when you're violated in that way. You know, your, your stuff's taken. It's, it's always a stressful time. However, I will say one thing. Comic book thieves, scum of the earth, and they always get caught like without a doubt like time and time again we cover stories we see them we hear about our friends it always comes back comic karma goes both way comic fam and we have some other stories we're going to get into on today's show where we're going to tell you just how that karma comes around yeah i mean like we hear we talk about stories of when there's theft but a majority of them are these people are caught and it's not because they're just dumb all right because we can't just say that like they're smart people, but they just get caught. You gotta understand, this is a collectible. Yeah, it's when, not easy to, to do what we do. It's not easy to, to move. When you do move it, it's gonna go into somebody's collection and books. So that book is around. Yeah, and it's trackable. It's a small community. So whether you move it to somebody else and then someone finds out, that's gonna come back to you. Oh, and we're gonna get into some times where comic books do come back. And they get hit big. I mean, it's 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 a serious offense, man. We're we're seeing them some huge um, what do you call them? Like penalties to these people, like long jail times, huge fines. Like it's it's some serious stuff. Buckle up, comic fan. We got some fun stories to get into. 